Hi, it's Deanna from Futures Past, and this is a part two of a video I have done just uh, this evening showing you an antique Victorian leather photo wallet. And uh, what I had done was um, taken all the cards out of this album, which was no small feat, let me tell you. Oh my goodness. So um, let me show you like what the interior of this album looks uh, like if you didn't look at the other videos yet. So it's a wallet made out of leather and it has um, little um, sleeves that you can place these uh, CDV photo cards in. And I had to actually, because they have little slots that you can um, pull the photographs out of. And as you can see, like these slots are very, very, very tight. And a lot of these photos barely, like they're so, they're just about right to fit in this uh, book. And they were wedged in there so bad that I had to take an actual tweezers to get in between these little slots and slowly pull them out without damaging the book. And let me tell you, it was a little bit of a nightmare that took me a good 15 minutes to do. So let me show you the uh, cards out of the sleeves so you can get an idea of what they are. So uh, this one here is definitely 1860s. It's a Civil War era or just after the Civil War photograph. And you can tell because it has squared off corners and the little um, golden border that goes around it was quite common for 1860s photographs. Some of them came in different colors. And this one, uh, this particularly uh, happens to be like a gold color, almost like a brownish gold. I've seen it in blue, green, lavender, red, and um, I'm sure there was other colors out there. And this uh, shows you a gentleman with a beard wearing a coat and a tie, actually a bow tie. And on the back, there is no information. So this uh, can probably predate this um, to before 1864, because during, I believe, 1864 to 1866, they had to put a tax revenue st stamp on the back of these. So it's either um, prior to 1864 or just after 1866 when they abolish that tax. So that's a way to uh, help date your photos when you find these old uh, photographs. Okay, the next um, photo happens to be an 1870s photo. And actually it could be 1860s. And um, you see the corners were cut. It could have been a square cornered photo. And uh, the photographer or the owner of this photograph may have cut the corners just so it could fit into this slot. So um, it's either 1860s or 1870s. And it shows you this old gentleman here with a beard. Now, what makes me think this is 1870s is the 1860s photos, the graphics on the back generally did not take up the whole card and were much smaller. And the logos were not as fancy. But as you can see here, this logo takes up the whole entire card and is slightly more fancy than some of the 1860s styles photos I've had. And it appears that this family comes out of Iowa. Now this one definitely looks like an 1860s photo. And you can tell by the dress she's wearing. And it appears that this was a squared off card that somebody had cut the corners with a scissor just so it could fit into these slots. And that's quite common. Um, people uh, used to do that. Because these are a tight fit, these slots. And it was very hard sometimes to stuff these little cards into the slots to get them to fit. So as you can see, she's wearing typical fashion of the 1860s with that big hoop skirt. And on the back now, here's what I was explaining about. In, it, in the 1860s, the photographer logos were much, much smaller and more plain and did not take up the whole back of the card. So this is generally telling me this photo um, could be uh, prior to 1864 or um, right after 1866 when the uh, tax revenue stamp was abolished. So it's probably just prior to when the ta uh, sun tax was, um, had, uh, you know, had just began in 1864. 
and um, it could have been, you know, just prior to that or just after it was abolished. So we have a date of prior to, just prior to 1864 or just after 1866. Um, my feeling is, is, is this, this is prior, just prior to the Civil War. And um, generally that really was the fashion back then. The skirts got much narrower um, mid to late 1860s going towards 1870s. The skirts weren't as big and wide. So this skirt, as you can see, is very big and wide. So that's why I feel it's just prior to the sun tax. And it's probably like just the turn of 1864 or just before it. Again, here we have another Civil War era photo with the corners cut so they could fit into the album. And you can tell by the garb of the fashion that the children were wearing. This type of fashion was very popular during the 1860s. Now, again, on the back, you see a very small logo. So, again, it could be just prior to the sun tax or just after it in 1866. What I feel is it's probably just the turn of 1864 or before. Again, we have another same, probably around the same date with this card. Um, somebody had cut it to make it shorter so it fit in the album. And it shows you a gentleman. It's a neat looking rug he was standing on. And on the back, we have no information from the photographer studio. It may have been cut. It may have been on the uh, car, the front of the card, but I highly doubt it because most in the 1860s, most of the photographer logos were on the back. Next, we have a tin type. This looks like uh, probably uh, just after the Civil War. And uh, let me show you a close up of, of this gentleman. He has tinted cheeks. There is a name. Kavanaugh, U.H. Kavanaugh, and it says December, and here we go, 1867. So December 27th, 1867. So this was taken just after the Civil War. And we have the photographer's logo on the back. And it appears to be Iowa again. So I'm going to do some research and find out um, more about these people. Um, unfortunately, this is the only guy that seems to have a name except for one other where it says Aunt Julia, but maybe uh, her last name was Kavanaugh as well. This looks like the same gentleman. And again, this is uh, around uh, the 1860s, mid to late. As you see the uh, border going around it, it was cut a little. It was cut down to size. And I think this is the same guy, so it may be uh, Mr. Kavanaugh again. On the back, we have no information. So this may have been um, taken prior to 1867, just before the sun tax, or just after 1866 when the sun tax, tax revenue stamp was abolished. Again, we have uh, what appears to be an 1860s photo. You can see now this one has red border going around it. And uh, Let's see if it has any, it has no info on the back. So again, it could be prior to 1864 or just um, when the sun tax uh, revenue stamps were abolished in 1866. As a matter of fact, we have the photographer's information here. And this is St. Louis. So we ha now we have Missouri. So we have two states to do research to find out who the people in this book uh, were. So it's St. Louis, Missouri and Iowa. Again, this appears to be Mr. Kavanaugh again. And uh, this now we're looking, I'm thinking 18, just about 1870. The corners were cut with a scissor. And yes, um, as you can see, the logo got much bigger, which was quite common with about 18, uh, starting in about 1870. And we have Iowa City, Iowa. Here's a tin type. This could be about 1870. It's a lady, she has rouged uh, cheeks. And there's no information for the photographer on back. 
Now here's what I mentioned uh, in the previous video that I think is a mulatto child. So a mulatto child is a mixed race child of one parent African American and the other parent white or Caucasian. I'm trying to be politically correct. I don't need any haters <laughs> telling me I'm, I'm stating the wrong information, but this child, I don't know if um, I could be wrong, does look uh, uh, like he or she may be mulatto. Very beautiful child, beautiful olive complexion, gorgeous curls. And this is an 1870s photo, no doubt. You could see the rounded corners. And on the back, we have some information. Now this child's from St. Louis, Missouri. Now we have this lady in the book was marked Aunt Julia. So I'm going to look it up. She may be, her last name may be Cavanaugh. And this is about 1870. The card does have squared off corners, but from her clothing, she looks about just about the turn of 1870. And now, as you can see, the uh, logo for the photographer took up the whole card. And we have Iowa City, Iowa, and it actually it says 1879, and that helps me a lot. So this is an 1870s photo with squared off corners. You see how that can trick you? Um, but the fashion never really uh, deceives you. So you can tell that this is an 1860s outfit. And last but not least, we have another 1870s photograph of a baby in a carriage. And you can see the rounded corners. It has a pretty color. It's like a pale mauve, almost a hint of violet. And this child's adorable. Look at the little wagon wheels on uh, the carriage. And on the back, we have the photographer's information. And now this person happens to have gotten this photograph taken in Kansas. So now we have Missouri, uh, Missouri Kansas, and Iowa. So that's another clue to help try to uh, name the people in this book, which I'm going to have a lot of trouble uh, finding out because there's very few clues here. So once again, if you like what you see, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I just started collecting Victorian photographs and I'll be making a lot more videos in the near future as I acquire more of these. So uh, stay tuned in and thanks for watching.